Okay people, I've worked it out. Right. Right in the beginning of the Bible, Genesis, early on in Genesis, we've got um, three names for God, or what we've believed to be God. We've got God, Lord God, and Lord. Now, <clears throat> Lord is referring to Adam. Okay, so we know Genesis 1, that's the Elohim God, and they just used the word God. Then Genesis 2 starts saying Lord God, and I'm not quite sure what this Lord God is. It may be meaning God, that's I guess what it is, but it's slightly weird. <laughs> Right, so <clears throat> the first time that it says Lord on its own is Genesis 4, verse 1, With the help of the Lord I have brought a man into being. That's what Eve said. That is the first time, I believe, where it just says Lord. Yeah. So then it says it again, when it says, uh, Abel brought gift to the Lord. The Lord received Abel and his gift with favour. Favor. So this isn't God. And it's not even purporting to be God. It's... It's Adam. See now, Adam, having with Eve created beings, put two and two together thinking, well, God made my being, so now we've made a being, we're like God. And that was the mistake, basically. So... So it's 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 uh, it's Adam who puts the curse on Cain. Now I thought initially only true God would have the power to do that sort of thing to genetics, basically change colour of the eyes, any sort of curse of interacting with nature. Right, um, so there we go again then, um, so apart from Cain talking to the Lord, and then each time it's just Lord. So this is Adam putting the punishment on Cain. Right, and then we get to Genesis 4.26. Uh, Seth too had a son who he named Enosh. At that time, men began to invoke the Lord by name. And then there's a little uh, thing here which says, This represents the Hebrew consonants YHWH. Probably pronounced Yahweh, but traditionally read as Jehovah. <laughs> so. Adam is Jehovah. Adam is Yahweh. And um, so I was wrong. I was blaming Noah. But he comes next. So to invoke the Lord by name. So that is not God. Yahweh is not the name of God. I think a lot of people are coming to accept that now. A lot of people aren't. Uh, it, it, when, it, when we get to uh, Enoch, it says he walked with God for 300 years. It doesn't say he walked with the Lord. And each time, having walked with God, Enoch was seen no more because God had taken him away. It's God, it's not the Lord. 
and the next time the Lord comes into it so has come upon us because of the Lord's curse upon the ground. This boy will bring us, this is about the birth of Noah. So this is what I'm saying is the next Christ. This boy will bring us relief from our work and from the hard labour that has come upon us because of the Lord's curse upon the ground. So that's, again, that's Adam's curse in a sense. sort of made it struck me as well as sort of you know the power that they had in the beginning the things they could do you know the pyramids Stonehenge but you know must have greater things you know how did they cut rock how did they how were they able to do that there must have been so much more and that's probably how we got steel and things instead of it being evolved they achieved amazing things in the beginning and some of that knowledge carried on to make steel and stuff like that. Um, when the Lord saw that man had done much evil on earth and that his thoughts and inclinations were always evil he was sorry that he had made man on earth. So we're still talking about Adam. Adam's thinking, you know, him and his wife were the first two on the earth, the only two there. And they got together and humped and humped and babies came out. And he's kind of regretting that he made these babies. It's not God. It's Adam. It's in here. You can uh, understand the Bible much more differently and better when you start seeing this. So even though Adam has died, his presence is still very well known. He can show himself to people, obviously. Um, this race of men whom I have created, I will wipe them off the face of the earth, man and beast, reptiles and birds. I am sorry that I ever made them. But Noah had won the Lord's favour. Again, remember, the Lord's, Adam. This is the story of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, the one blameless man of his time. He walked with God. So now we're saying God. He's the second Christ. Now God saw that the whole world was corrupt and full of violence. I haven't read this far yet. This would be a test for me. Inside the world become corrupted for all men who had corrupted lives on earth. And God said to Noah. See now it says God. So now I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I thought it all worked out. <laughs> There's something else to confuse me. I mean, maybe that was true then, but maybe that, that, was, that was God's opinion too, that it had become corrupt, it had become terrible. Of all mankind become plain to me, for through them the earth is full of violence. I intend to destroy them, and the earth with them. Wow. That's God. Make yourself an ark with ribs of See, maybe this is bullshit. <laughs> ah, spoiled it. Well, I don't know if I should upload this video now. We are getting into a different story here. But it is interesting. It is interesting when you think, because that is after Adam had died, so maybe then they get confused. <laughs>